Hello, and welcome again back to Mrs. Cash Aquatic Corner. I realize it's been quite a while since I have um, posted any videos on YouTube, but at this current time, I have very exciting news in my aquatic corner, and that is that my Coriodorus catfish are finally spawning and laying eggs, and actually so far on a very regular basis. And so I have lost several batches of eggs, uh, not 100% sure that any of them have actually successfully hatched yet. So I have just noticed these new eggs in the tank and every day they have laid, every day that they've laid, they've laid eggs on this far leaf and they have not successfully stuck around. I don't know if the first batch was eaten, but so far I have no swimmers, little swimmers in the tank. And I am not sure if um if that was all due to being eaten. So, today noticing that they have been almost daily spawning and laying, I decided to go with the uh method of removing some of the eggs though I was not sure if I wanted to go with that method because of the fact that I don't feel like I have the means to um, properly raise the fish that way but I am going to try and so what I did today was I removed about four eggs um, three successfully a hundred percent and I put them in this little grow out tank here and I'm hoping that the water movement is accurate enough. Here you can see one. Um, this is actually just laid today. And I don't know for 100% that it's fertilized. Uh, I do, however, have two obviously fertilized eggs. It appears to me that I actually successfully moved more eggs than I thought. So, I can see a couple there. And then that one that I was focused on in the first place. And here is my obviously fertilized egg or eggs. I think that there's two at least fertilized there. They're supposed to get to be a little bit of an orangish color when they are fertilized. And that is within the first day. They are supposed to change that color first to second day. And so these ones are actually, I think, approximately three days old. And so I should be expecting them to hatch here within the next couple days. So those are my, um, my older eggs. And then I have a couple from today's lay. And I will be monitoring this um, hourly, at least. And probably a little bit in between. Every opportunity I have, probably. And I will be um, very hopeful because the eggs are supposed to be kept moving and I don't know that the water movement on the bottom is accurate enough for that. Though I do have two little swimmers in here who I'm hoping will kick them around. I'm not worried about these guys eating the eggs because I think that they're still kind of small to be tempted to eat those and they are well fed in this tank. So I will be trying this method and seeing if it's successful. If I get successful hatch, I will um, probably be removing more of the Coriodorus catfish eggs in the future. But this is my experiment. I'm hoping that I didn't just risk these eggs to find out that it was unsuccessful. But unfortunately, the way that it's going in the 55 gallon, I had hoped that <clears throat> I would have um, more eggs survive because I was trying real hard to feed the bigger fish uh, so they wouldn't be tempted to eat the eggs as much but every every other day at least I came out and um, the leaf here that had eggs on it they were gone within at least two days some of them would survive for a day or two and then they would be gone again so far the ones that she laid one of the gals laid on the heater. The glare of my flash is making it hard for you to see that. 
those ones are the ones that have survived for the full three days and um, I'm hopeful that they will be the ones to hatch and then I suppose that I have to worry about their actual survival rate after hatching um, because I don't have a lot of foliage on the floor and I hope that they will um, be able to find nice hiding. I will be taking some hornwort and rooting or rooting it into the surf or into the substrate below the eggs. So hopefully, when they hatch, they fall straight into it, and they have a high success rate of growing and surviving in the tank after birth. So. That's what's going on in Mrs. Cash Aquatic Corner at this current time, and I'm so excited that I just felt the need to share it further. And there we have absolutely beautiful albino Coriodorus catfish in spawning behavior. I'm so stoked to share because this has been something I've been trying for from the get-go, and I finally have had success with witnessing spawning and um, the laying of the eggs so I hope you enjoyed this video I will keep um, keep everyone in touch about any successful or unsuccessful egg hatching so thank you very much and have a nice day bye for now